The Islamic Defenders Front, an Indonesian fundamentalist group, held a prayer service for Osama bin Laden. But this view is not the norm in Indonesia, which has the world's largest Muslim population. In 2002, an Al-Qaeda affiliate, Jema Islamia, carried out a bombing in Bali that killed more than 200 people. At the Kalapa Mosque in Jakarta, people praised the U.S. action. It is quite good for the entire world, because bin Laden is a terrorist. When I heard that bin Laden was killed, I was very happy, because the number of terrorists like those that haunt Indonesia is decreasing. Bin Laden was killed early Monday in a raid by U.S. commandos in Pakistan. In Cairo, Egypt, reactions to his death were also mixed. I'm not really happy, but at least something uh, good happened. I mean... I, I hope this will be better for everybody. This Cairo resident believes the way the Al-Qaeda leader's body was disposed of at sea was not in accordance with Islam, and he predicts that will harm America's image here. But the strongest objections were raised over the way some Americans celebrated the death of the world's most notorious terrorist. Sheikh Asim Abdel Magid is a leading member of the militant group Gama Islamia. The joy expressed by Americans towards an operation that involves killing and bloodshed of more than one person presented a real shock to the Arab and Islamic public opinion. Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood says it's now time for the American military to leave Iraq and Afghanistan. But there's been no outpouring of grief for a terrorist who saw himself as a Muslim leader. Michelle Dunn is a MIDI specialist at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. I think that most people in the Arab world don't find bin Laden or al-Qaeda very relevant to them anymore. Dunn says the uprisings in the Arab world have shown that change is possible through other means. The kind of model of violent change that al-Qaeda represented and the idea that leaders had to be overthrown either in religiously motivated uh, revolutions or through assassination, through violent means, just doesn't seem, uh, I think, very timely to people anymore. Dunn also says bin Laden had lost much sympathy among Muslims long before he was killed, and now relatively few are mourning his loss. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.